Well, my faith is uh, not only important to me, but what it teaches about what it teaches me about our budget priorities is that there are over 2,500 verses in the Bible that deal with the issue of the sick and the hurting and the alien, the hungry, the orphans, and the widows. And God is pretty clear, whether you're reading the Old Testament or the or the New Testament, that we are to be involved with the poor, we are to help them. So. Um, whether you're a congressman or an ambassador, uh, we're all ambassadors. Whether you uh, have an office or don't have an office, we're all ambassadors for Jesus. So um, I consider it very important that we reach out. I'm to fasting them. right now, and I'm in my eleventh day, and um, and I'm uh, I'm fasting and praying to God uh, uh, to bring attention to remind people in the country that there is a problem in the world. Uh, there's a, at least a billion people right now that are malnourished. There's two and a half billion people that are living on less than two dollars a day and there's 50 million people in our own country, in America, that are going to bed two or three days out of every month without food. And uh, that what's going on in America is, is right now there's some major decisions being made with our budgets and, and how we how we make moral decisions about our budget and there's no question that we need to be careful and we need to be fiscally responsible but you can't be you can't uh, you know balance the budget on the back on the backs of the poorest of the poor and the most vulnerable on what Jesus said the least of these so we want our elect officials to be to make moral choices, to make choices uh, that are right, and make choices that are based on protecting the poor. Well, my message is is that you know when you vote, um, um, what you do really affects people. As a matter of fact, some of the votes and some of the cuts that you that you are contemplating on making uh, will actually kill people in the world and uh, it's it's as simple as that so it's very significant what you're doing and you need to understand exactly what you're doing balance the budget cut on needy programs but but be very careful on how you deal with the most vulnerable of our population